Previously, we presented SAW Plus, the first single-winged autorotating device with directional controls using a single flap. To improve it, we currently have two goals, a new flight mode for tough wind conditions and to have a better glide angle. The second goal is achieved by optimizing the wing geometry and a new cyclic control strategy. Increasing rotations per second was expected to improve the glide angle. We use plate element theory and genetic algorithm to come up with a wing plan form and placement of components in order to increase rotation speed. The resulting prototype is dropped from 30 meter. It was able to increase the rotation speed by three times. However, it was also dropping very fast. There was not much time and height left to apply cyclic control and measure a meaningful glide angle. So we decided to focus on reducing the descent velocity. Once again, using blade element theory and genetic algorithm, we designed and simulated a prototype that descends the slowest at a meaningful rotation speed. To control the flap, we come up with a novel cyclic control. This prototype also features a new flight mode, the diving mode. The diving mode enhances the capabilities of the platform, enabling it for more complex flight profiles. Normal cyclic control is sinusoidal. This is inspired from helicopter's swashplate mechanism, which mechanically regulates the pitch angle of the blades. However, with direct servo control, we can apply new control schemes such as square waves to take advantage of the servo's fast actuation speeds. Glide angle is the angle between the horizontal and the flight path. In our simulations, we applied square cyclic control and found that it was able to achieve a better glide slope. In this experiment, we observe the change from diving to autorotation. At the moment of transition, the saw decelerates rapidly and rotates very fast momentarily. In this experiment, we observe the change from autorotation to dive. The saw is able to enter a dive almost instantly upon command. Here, we can see the transitions in slow motion. The first is transition into dive by increasing the flap angle to positive 90 degrees. Here, we enter the dive by decreasing the flap angle to negative 90 degrees. Upon re-entering autorotation, Desaw achieves almost zero translational velocity for a brief moment. This is because it is converting most of its translational kinetic energy from falling into rotational kinetic energy. Here, you can see that Desaw is able to switch between the two flight modes multiple times, just within 30 meters of drop. In this experiment, Desaw is given square cyclic control and is manually controlled to fly towards the left. Multiple experiments were conducted and the average glide angle was found to be about 29 degrees. Here, we can observe Desaw being hand launched and controlled to move directly away from the camera. It was able to glide quite effortlessly. In this experiment, we use a modified RC plane to carry and deploy three DSOR units. The RC plane was cruising at about 72 km per hour when the DSORs are released. The three DSORs enter autorotation immediately. After a short time, command was given to move the units towards different directions.
Upon reaching a certain height, each dinosaur enters a dive and approaches the ground quickly. An aerial camera follows each unit closely as it enters and exits the dive. More information can be found in the paper.